Hello and welcome to this Cavco Maker tutorial where we are going to take a grayscale image which was downloaded from Google and we're going to put it straight into Cavco. So we'll just move Cavco window over a little bit. Here's the model here. So Cavco Maker is very simple. You just drag and drop it in. And there it is. So now we're going to give it some dimensions. I want this quite a large uh, wall hanging piece. It's already 677 millimeters in height, which is a what's that? That's about two foot three inches. So we're going to take it to. We're going to take it up to 1,000. Okay, so that 1,000 is approximately 3 foot 3 inches. No, 3 foot 6, 3 foot 9 inches, I think. Roughly speaking. Um, 305 millimeters is a 1 foot. Because it's 25.4 millimeters to an inch. Okay, so... Now the important thing that we do here, we allocate a Z height. Because of this item is now rather large, we can afford to have quite a, a deep 3D image. And we're going to make this 25, 25.4 millimeters, which is one inch deep. And we're going to start from the bottom left corner, or now this is for a CNC router, so it's the front left hand corner, which is normal for a CNC router. Okay, we don't have an opportunity to actually alter the DPI, which is dots per inch, um, in this particular grayscale image and this is a genuine grayscale image downloaded straight off the net um, okay so we're gonna say okay okay so this is the image that has come in and if you notice it's quite speckly and grainy this is electronic interference or electronic noise that is coming with the the model so within Cavco maker there is a very powerful tool that we can clean this up and that tool is here and it's smooth relief tool okay so you can use this tool in real time so let's just move this so we've got near a full picture so you can see what's going on now you can alter this in real time so we're just going to slide this slider bar up and just watch the image and this is in real time see it's fading out the uh, imperfections we'll call them and look if I went all the way the other end of the scale it phases it too far so you lose a lot of clarity so what you need to do is just just slide this slider smooth slider bar down until okay now you'll just notice that here and just a bit of a halo around there there is a little bit of noise left. I'll zoom in. See, there's a little bit of noise left. Um, look, the toolpaths will ignore that. I mean, that has been my experience because if I slid this down any further or made it any stronger, um, you're going to lose the clarity of this so you're going to lose all the folds of the clothing 
and uh, indeed the you know the the, the water um, representation here it's just gonna fade away to well not a very good representation so that is how to bring a 3d relief into Kafka maker and clean it up the next video we will construct the tool paths and run a simulation thank you for joining me it's bye for now